Hey, I'm Ashley Gass, strength and conditioning specialist with BrilliantAthlete.com. The best abdominal training advice I can give you has got a couple of factors in it, really. Number one is a lot of people spend time doing crunches in the gym every day, week after week, and never really get any result. And one of the reasons for that is because of a poor or less than optimum nutrition plan because if you're in the gym and you're training but then when you leave you're not eating very well which usually means a diet that's higher in processed packaged foods or a lot of skip meals it becomes very challenging to gain muscle mass and lose body fat which is part of what you're going to need to get good abdominals the second piece of advice that I can give you is to use variety in terms of the exercises that you choose. So if you've been doing one abdominal exercise for the last 10 years, it's probably time to change it because your body responds very well to training variety. So in addition to tra uh, training different exercises, also use different load parameters. So that might mean that for some abdominal exercises you're just using body weight, while for others you would load them either from a cable or using dumbbells. There's lots of ways to load abdominal exercises. If you've been training them every single day for months, back off. Just start to train them a few, a few times a week, but make the times that you do train them of, of higher quality. Now for nutrition, there's a lot of advice out there that some of it works, most of it doesn't. Go to BrilliantAthlete.com on the products page. There's a, there's a book called Precision Nutrition, and when you get that, that's really all the information that you'll need to understand how to eat in order to gain muscle, lose body fat, and develop um, a better set of abdominals. I'm Ashley Gass, BrilliantAthlete.com.